I don't have a crystal ball sense of how it's all going to play out economically, but one of the things we talked about, and I think the thing to stress is what's exciting about the blogosphere and uh, the emergence of citizen journalists, is that these are the people that um, can really do the sort of reporting that I think is missing from the mainstream media, and unfortunately missing from the blogosphere because people aren't being trained appropriately. But, you know, one thing I said is go to City Hall and spend a day there. And don't go talk to the mayor. Don't go talk to the city council people. Um, go talk to the person who sits at the front desk and tells people how to find the room they're going to. Um, get to know them and find out what their experiences are. Um, I started the, the session with a story about a city council meeting. And there was an editor his reporter came back from the city council meeting. The editor said, how did the meeting go? I said, oh man, it was unbelievable. People were yelling at each other in the hall. I mean, I thought there was going to be a fist fight in the hall and people were swearing in the room and interrupting each other. It's, it's chaos down there. So the editor says, well, that's great. Uh, write that up and uh, I'll see you in the morning. He goes home and the reporter writes their story, you know, the dreaded city council story, writes up the story. Next morning, the editor wakes up, opens up the paper and it's a blow by blow, boring, here was the agenda, last night's city council meeting, here's what took place, right? And the real story was in the hall, and the power was in the hall, and the conflict was in the hall, and the people that matter in the community and the issues that matter to those people were in the hall. And so what I really tried to stress to those guys is learn how to go out into communities and become part of the community. There's all these rules that reporters have started to put on onto themselves, especially mainstream reports, you know, go to the press conference, talk to X, <coughs> Y, and Z person, what does the press release say, get a phone call to this person and this person. To me, the best urban reporting, and really the best reporting in general, is when you get out into the community and you meet people and you learn to empathize with them, you learn what their issues are and concerns are, that's how you source great journalism. I don't know whether there's going to be an infrastructure in place that will pay people to do that sort of groundwork. Um, and I think people are just going to have to do a bit of it on their own. All of a sudden we're doing a lot of communication via our handhelds and email and we're asking very specific questions and we're going back in this very impersonal electronic way. Great tools, great resources, but it doesn't replace getting out in the community, spending time with people, getting to know what their concerns are, building a relationship with them, asking good follow-up questions, going places with sources you never would have expected to go because you're spending time with them. Those are the sorts of stories I worry that we're going to start missing. Uh, is stuff that, you know, the stuff that's going on, on at the grassroots that really makes not only for compelling storytelling, but also really, I think, exposes what's actually going on. I still think that the, um, uh, there's, a, there's a magazine called Texas Monthly. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they do great work like this because they're sort of in that tradition of the, the old alternative weeklies. I felt like the alternative weeklies before they got conglomerated were doing a lot more of this magazine style, sort of, you know, shoe leather journalism. And they also had the luxury of time. You know, when I was working for the alternative weeklies, I could spend six weeks on a cover story. I had to do other things while I was working on it. But I got to really know an area, know the people. Um, so I feel like Texas Monthly is doing that, um, Chicago Reporter is doing good work like that. Um, some of these alt-weeklies are still doing it. I thought Denver Westward and uh, the Riverfront Times in St. Louis had a really nice year. Um, and then you also get to see it in magazines like The New Republic and The Nation uh, and Mother Jones where you still have that feature quality, you still have that sense that the reporter knows the sources, has spent time with them, and it's not just a quick hit interview. It's something that was genera generated out of a relationship. And one thing I really want to stress with young journalists is build relationships. Don't build unethical relationships, but build relationships because you, you need that source base. You need, to, you need to get deeper down. You need to get past the headlines. And that's the one thing I, you know, I've seen some of it on the blogosphere, but typically it's coming from people who have that traditional journalistic training. Um, so I think that's just something that, that I'm really excited and, and motivated to talk to young journalists about.